Hey everyone, we are back with some older products that I bought in the hopes of hopefully being able to open and pull a Carrie Fisher or Harrison Ford autograph. Now, this particular product here, you know, it's just one pack. The odds are pretty, pretty small for me to actually get one of these, but you know what? Don't tell me the odds. Uh, but in this product, there is a chance to get a Carrie Fisher, Harrison Ford, or Mark Hamill autograph. This is the Star Wars 40th Anniversary Fat Pack. And probably not going to get one, but you never know. I'm going to open this. It's a shot on goal to get a classic original trilogy signer autograph. You know what? It's 20 bucks. Why not? Let's do it. We're going to open that one last, though. First, we have Star Wars Black and White Return of the Jedi, a 2020 product that has Carrie Fisher autograph potential, Harrison Ford autograph potential. Fortunately, no Mark Hamill autograph in this one. Uh, it does have Ian McDermott as the Emperor, Jeremy Bullock as Boba Fett. Billy D. Williams, Peter Mayhew, lots of cool autograph potential in this product. Or, guaranteed one autograph or a sketch card as well. I haven't got a sketch card in a while. And you know what? I would take a sketch card second to a Carrie Fisher, Harrison Ford, IRS, obviously. But, you know, I don't, I'm do a sketch card. I haven't had a sketch card in a while. And you know what? It's an older product. I may not even post this video to YouTube. Just recording it for some practice. And to potentially, again, pull a legendary, legendary autograph from a legendary, legendary sign. So enough talking, enough yammering. I do that a lot in these openings now. Let's get to it. We are going to open two hobby boxes of Star Wars Black and White, Return of the Jedi. I believe these were the 40th anniversary kind of redos of it. Which one should I open for? We'll go left to right. We'll go left to right. We'll go in this order. One, two, three. And anytime you can take a shot on goal to potentially get a Harrison Ford a Carrie Fisher autograph while spending only a like hundred bucks on this product for a card that could be worth two to three grand or more. I like those odds. I like that potential. And I like breaking cards. Let's give it a shot, huh? I got, uh, I wasn't able to get yet Re Empire Strikes Back black and white, but I do have, I did get two boxes of Star Wars A New Hope, and I got some cool autographs. If I get a cool hit here, maybe I'll post some video of that as well. But, uh, looking forward to opening this product, so let's get to it. Let's get to it. Really like these. Ooh, already starting out with a numbered parallel of Slave Leia. 25 of 99. That is a pretty cool start to this break. God, these cards are cool. I really like these black and white cards. I don't know. I don't know about you. There we go. There's a random behind the scenes mixed in there. That's an insert. Behind the scenes insert the rotisserie. Oh, that's Jabba's... Is that from Jabba's throne room? Yeah, that's from Jabba's throne room. Yeah, Jabba that's Tattooing Palace. Behind the scenes. And base cards. Han. Luke. Leia. 
Doesn't get any better than that in Star Wars products, does it? Unless you're an Obi-Wan fan. Yeah. What am I talking about? Just open. Let's just open it. I might not even post this video anyway. It's an older product. Oh yeah, I need to sleeve that up. See, I'm not with it. Looks like some concept art. Ace card, what is that? Speeder bike concept art. Ewok taking a ride. Before I forget, Slave Leia definitely needs to be sleeved up here. And thrown in a top book. Boom goes the dynamite. Next. These are like the A New Hope product. The sketch or autograph will be in the last pack, so we can kind of breeze through these. I think I see a blue parallel. Yeah. Blue hue, forest family. Ebony walk. We got iconic characters. Doesn't get more iconic than Luke Skywalker. Oop. Fumble. Fumble. Hopefully I didn't damage it. Luke there. Sorry, Luke. My bad. Luke Skywalker. Yep, I see iconic character number one. Doesn't get more iconic than Luke. Sir, what is that? Sixty-eight of ninety-nine. The final duel begins, and these are, these are pretty cool. I like these um, poster poster concept cards or older poster cards. Those are neat too. Leave up the parallel. Boom goes the dynamite on that. Okay, okay, we're good, 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 good. Don't specifically recall that from the movie, but. Be behind the scenes shot that's not a behind the scenes card. Luke's continued resistance to the dark side. Behind the scenes, the Chew Man. Burr Palpatine. Probably just my imagination. This one, whatever it seems seems little have here. Probably just my imagination. Oh, 
<gasps> oh shit. Oh shit. Look who it is. I guess the autograph cards aren't always in the back. Because look who we just pulled. Jeremy Bullock is Boba Fett. Glorious. Rest in peace, Jeremy Bullock. Rest in peace. is a very nice hit. I'm very happy with this. I was actually, there are times where I was looking at and considering buying a Jeremy Bullock as a Pope of Fed autograph. But I just pulled one. This. And this. I think I have, yeah. The magnetic Hard case, brand new one. For a freshly opened card. Get my little fuzzies off the card there. I think that's good. You know, sometimes you just strike uh, some cool hits, and I don't know what else to say. Jeremy Bullock as Boba Fett, the original Boba Fett. Definitely worth the $99 for the hobby box on this one. I think this one's selling for like 200 I think what we will do as well, just because that thing's looking very nice. This one gets the special treatment, the really, really special treatment. You know? Art case, credit card sleeve. Just really nice auto. Very happy with this one. Throw that there. All right. Can we top that with the next two items we get? I don't think so. But we shall see. Like, I don't know, there might have been more cards in that one than normal. Maybe that's why it seemed heavier, but I don't know how many cards are supposed to be in here? Eight cards. Hmm. Last pack of the first box. Oh, look who it is again. The iconic character, Boba Fett. I am Boba Fett. Good stuff, good stuff. Box number two. Like I said, I think I got a solid autograph pull. I'm cool with getting a sketch this time. I'm cool with getting a sketch this time.
not pulled the sketch in a little while. I've only pulled two sketches, to be honest with you. Let's see what we, uh, what we do here. Cards are all sorts of upside down. Yeah. Structure of EV99. Didn't even know that was a droid. Or I didn't know that droid's name. Huey and and these aren't even behind the scenes cards, but these are behind the scenes shots. Chewbacca and his captor posing for a shot there. The Gamoran guards who did not have a happy fate in the Book of Boba Fett. Ooh, Admiral Akbar. Looking a little blue there. Darth Vader and the Death Star by Norman Reynolds. Concept art. Han and Leia. My character is Chewbacca. This card, not looking so blue though. What kind of parallel is this? We're heavy on the Death Star. Twenty two of twenty five. It's a nice low number parallel and seventy millimeter. For the first time in America, Star Wars Trilogy, one performance only. 70 millimeter marathon poster. That would be cool to see in 70 millimeter. That's like super wide. Super, super wide. Posters go up there. Leave up that number to 25 parallel. We're going to sleeve up the ones numbered to 99. We're going to do it to one number to 25. Oh, you
you know. Miniature bugger. Conway again. Luke and Darth again. Alright, will the sketch or autograph be in this one? The other one was in the second to last one this time. Do they do that again? Let's see. That will be very nice and gentle opening this one. Smooches. More Gamorrean guards. Finding use for the droids. Oh, another autograph. Mark Dodson. I guess I never knew the name of. Ooh, it's. Oh, it's a parallel. 25 of 25. Nice low number parallel. I didn't know that was the name of that creature. Salacious Crumb. Jabba the Hutt's buddy. 25 of 25. Nice low number parallel. Mark Dodson is Salacious Crumb in a low number parallel. It's the voice of Salacious Crumb. Obviously, that is Mark, not Mark Dobson, Dodson. Just voiced that character. Yes, the force is with me on these. Low number parallel, some Boba Fett. Let's say this is worth the 200 bucks for these two boxes. The Boba Fett autograph is like worth 200 bucks. Good, good stuff. That does it. Oh, wait, yeah, there's, yeah. That doesn't do it. There's one more pack left. And there's the fat pack. Han and Carbon. Luke on Sepia parallel. Pretty sure that's the Sepia parallels. Iconic character. And another cool. Two box opening of Star Wars Black and White. Cool little product. Let's take another look at the two top hits from that real quick. Once again, we got Salacious Crumb. Mark Dodson is the voice of that. Which is the top hit. Jeremy Bullock is Boba Fett. Very cool. Very, very cool. Very 
here. Parallels a 22 of 25 purple hue parallel. 68 of 99. Princess Leia's gruesome imprisonment, card number 27. Number 25 of 99. All right, and the bonus break. One pack magic. Let's see what we do. 16 cards in this one. Double the fun. Oh, that's what that thing is. Card number one, the ever popular security card. Wah, wah, wah. All right. Fire strikes back. Star Wars role-playing game thrives. Interesting. Rebel Assault. 1993. I think I played that game. Maybe around the time I was playing computer games, Star Wars computer games. Probably got that one. Death Troopers is published 2009. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I believe that's a book I didn't read. Yeah. Force Awakens is released May 2015. Famous brother and sister duo there. I think we got a green something going on here. The arena fight. Number parallel? What are these greens here? I don't know what the green means. Ewok Village? They're not numbered. Yeah. Keep them separate though. Los Isley Cantina? Star Wars poster book poster the poster book poster gotta love that poster book poster this is a one of the universal global posters that's this is from the uh seen that image before. They have that in the Chrome Galaxy. Yeah, one of the inserts is the global posters. This is the Italian Star Wars poster, yes. The Italian Star Wars poster. I'm half Italian. I approve. Oh, and another poster alternative here. What do we got? We got the Finnish Style C Star Wars poster. And of course we have the the main Star Wars poster. Oh. The Star Wars poster. Classic. What do we have here? Ralph McGuire's Star Wars. Okay. Is that concept art? Concept art. All right. 
Let's take a look at that top, top hit one more time. Glorious, glorious Jeremy Bullock. That was Boba Fett. Thanks for watching. I've had good fortune. Good fortune to you as well.